on nice. YouTube as well. Okay, two seconds whilst I cross put. Mm -hmm. One, two. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I know, so we have someone really watching us. We got one in the house. Okay. Bonjour, good talk, ciao. Hi, my name is Mihai. I welcome you to our creative world of Woody Band and Posture. So, uh, how was your Friday, my creative lovers? <laughs> <laughs> Creativity. The people that love to create, to craft, and uh, all that kind. So today we're gonna go with a chat. It's no. not any chair though, is it? It's a bar stool. Okay, okay. We're going to <laughs> technical details now, right? So we have a bar stool here. It's quite a pretty normal one. I don't know where we have it. I don't think it, it's important. And we decided to uh, give it a new life, a more bright. And when I'm saying bright, trust me, that's gonna be funky. As we decided to go for the intersecting circles from our posture, the loose decoupage paper, in A1. Which is that. And the rest of the main, the body of the, the stool, we're gonna paint it in red medium cabin posture metallic paste, which is a quite bright red. And we give away today, yes, what? For like, share, sprinkle, subscribe, and follow. <laughs> uh, the same decoupage, only in A3 format. So, well, a smaller project, but it doesn't mean that it's not going to be the same. <laughs> right, so I'm going to put it aside, I'm going to remind you during the, the live, we don't spend too much time on losing it, and it's money, and it's not turning back. <laughs> right, I'm going to put it aside for now, and uh, as you saw, we already applied um, a white background for our decoupage, as if you want to keep the same vibrance of the colors, if you want to keep them bright, and uh, the saturation of the color to have the, to be the same as to you that you when you see it when it's uh, dry. We recommend you and suggest to have a white background as uh, the decoupage paper seems it's really thin. When you apply the inferior posture pigment infuser, it's getting slightly transparent. And thanks to that, a white background helps the colors to. Uh, pop out to uh, maintain the colors and the hues. The vibrance. The vibrance. There you go. <laughs> right. Uh, as I said, to apply the decoupage, we're going to use posture pigment infuser, which is a great product. It's a three in one. And you can apply this in a different material for decoupage. You may apply it as to mix the pigments, because as you can see from, uh, from the name, posture pigment infuser. Because of that infuser, the pigments do not lose their color and the brilliance and saturation of the color as well. And you may use it to seal a surface. For example, if your paint it's not posh chalk metallic paste, which is a self-sealant paste, and you want to protect it, you might use a posh pigment infuser. So that's why I'm saying it's a 3-in-1 product, and which is great. So you buy one can and you might use it for three different things. So you've got good morning from Bulgaria. Laura Marios is here as well. Hi, Laura. Hello, Laura. Uh, you've got Solange watching. The linker from Bulgaria. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? How's your Friday? Have you got any plans for the weekend? Just the ones that live near the ocean or the sea. Be there. <laughs> the lucky ones. Well, you can live near, uh, near mountains as well. More lucky. So you can go there and have some fresh air. Right. To apply the posture pigment infuser, I use a smooth and blend posture chalk mini paintbrush, which really helps a lot. And 
make the process faster. So now, let's go and choose, oh, are we going for the center? Yeah, why not? Why? <laughs> why not? Why not? So, seeing that we're going to go for the red, So, and now I'm going to take a smooth and bland posture, white paintbrush, and I'm going to lay down center, and then I'm going to go to the side, pushing out all of the air bubble or cruises that might be, and I don't want to be here. Okay. If you have a slightly more complicated uh, surface, you might spray some water over, and because of that, the decorator will get more elastic and will help you better to lay it, lay it on the surface. Oh, so hi to everybody watching on YouTube. It's nice to see you all. Uh, Solange says um, she. <laughs> Right now, her country is really, really hot, so, <laughs> so she probably won't be going out too much over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Do you want to share that with us? Because it's quite cold today, actually. And I can't remember why. Why? My friend had a car with a new one. And now, now, he sold that one and he bought a new one, like, full, that full family one. That's why the weather went Because he didn't need the sun anymore. Because yeah. he got himself a family cruiser car. He got to the sun in England. Right. Hola, yeah. Mexico. Oh, Laura's off on a trip to Italy as well. Sorry, I stopped disturbing you. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, yeah, here it is. And now I'm going to go over quickly with the heat bath to dry it because I'm planning to take the size down. Make a parchment paper, you make carpet with a craft knife, scissor, as with a normal paper. But I prefer see that it's, a, it's already applied to go with a sandpaper to have a nice smooth edges. But for that, the paper must be completely dry. Okay. So, as I said, I'm going to take the sandpaper and go over. The sides. I'm going from the decoupage <laughs> uh, from the inside to the outside. <laughs> Hedy says hi to everyone from Florida. Thanks for taking my mind off the fact that we're all melting. You're very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> West Virginia's got a hurricane. Oh my goodness, dear safe. <laughs> Laura says it's quiet there today. Is everyone gone for the weekend? No, just Artemis is behaving herself in the corner, so it's quite quiet. <laughs> what? When you say like that, it's like she, she was punished. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, seeing that we have received quite a few complaints about. The squeaking floor, the squeaking door, we said, why everyone? And it turned out Artemis was making the squeaking door and floor what? effects all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I love you really. <laughs> um, Solange is asking, is that rice paper the A1 size? Yes. Yes. A1 and A3, all the posture of the papers are rice paper. Well, He's a popular guy. Wow. <laughs> so don't forget today as well, the decoupage that we have using is the A1 version, but we've also got the A3 version. Oh, I'll come and <laughs> give it a whirl as well. So it's the insects and circles decoupage. But just a little bit smaller. But all you have to do to win is like, share, and comment that you've shared this video. And I'll be picking a winner and announcing it on Monday on our Pop Shock and Artisans group. I'll show this to YouTube as well. Two seconds, YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. 
the only corner is here where I can't reach with uh, sandpaper and go the craft knife. But I'm going to give myself, make sure that if you want to go with the craft knife or scissor, the paper is possibly dry because otherwise it will not work. Gonzalo says hola desde España. Hi, <laughs> how are you? Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. We're really excited about this show. I think it's going to be like a cool, groovy 70s style because we're going to be painting it in red as well. So it's going to be a really, a, a stool with a lot of character. And here. Now, don't throw that away because you might use it to make a, how we call it, poncho. <laughs> <laughs> a really funky one. <laughs> okay. And just to protect our decoupage, I'm going to go over with a posture cube and diffuser because, as I said, it's a sealant as well. So just in case if you're not going to see it, and I'm not going to pay attention, and Woo. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Linda, for liking and sharing. Have we got any new people watching today? I always say this and expect people to actually talk back to me, and then it's like a delay, and then the comments start yeah. coming in. <laughs> if they're watching the first time, maybe they are shy. So that's why they are commenting. Laura says, you're quite the fashionista. <laughs> and well, another thing, uh, the decoupage, you may apply it almost on any surface, good type, even on materials. So, yeah, now, we've got... now that you remember about the fashion east side, just <laughs> we tried it actually. Miha's actually the material girl. <laughs> Okay, now before, well, while it's still drying, we are spending too much time. We're going to apply on the back of it to our newest third generation new release. It was one last this one day. Yes. Seven seventeen third generation wood band trim with an MDF board in between, with a high compression rate, with a perfected design. Well, it's a new design, with a clean, cleaner lines, sharper details. And, yeah, <laughs> sorry. It's all right. So hi uh, to the UK, we've got the UK watching with Laura. Uh, Lisa's here as well watching us. We've got hi from Boston, Cressy Mirror's here. Laura says, I'm just sat painting a duck. Nice one. Is it a garden duck? Is it a, a decorative a duck? One. Is it a real duck? Well, the duck was a duck colour and they said, no, I want to be blonde. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, seeing that I knew exactly what I'm going to do, I have set some of the things that we have here in the house, 717, already on a bill, so we will, will not take that much time to warm it up. However, I'm going to do another go with a heat gun to make it even more flexible. Wood event has all the problems of wood, but those of you maybe to just join them. I'm not sure, I'm not sure who's watching us or the time, so maybe there are some new. The problem of what the event is, it gives you all the properties and possibilities of the wood only when it's warmed up with electric grid or hair dryer or heat gun. It's getting really bendy and flexible, so it gives it limitless possibilities where and how to apply it. Look at that. Once it will cool down, it will stay in that shape, in that form, in that position. But if you want to change it, just warm it up. Okay. Uh, all you need for that is a good quality wood glue. In our case, we use type 1 quick and thick because it does exactly what it says on a bottle. So it's quick and drying and this thick, so it's not running all over. And with the trim, you have a natural choice. You may apply it on a footprint of the wood bin product 
or you can apply it on the back of or on a, on a project directly. Seeing that I know exactly where it's going to be, I'm going to apply it on the channel. And I'm going to spray it with the paintbrush. Everybody loves it when you do the wormy, wormy, squirmy. We've got Solange saying, I love it when you do that. <laughs> Laura says, I love it when you do the would you bend snake dance. <laughs> Thank you. But that was my idea. Hello to Tennessee. We've got people all over the world watching. It's lovely to see you all today. I hope you're excited for the weekend. We've all got that Friday feeling here. <laughs> well, we definitely do. Yeah, it's Friday as well, so. Why do So, ready? Mm-hmm. Try that again. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> Wait. So the trick with the mornings, because the third generation holds its heat for a lot longer than the first generation does, so you have to try and get it as hot as possible, but without burning yourself. So if you can't handle the heat, you can also wear heat protective clothes, which me high seemingly forgets to wear every time. Because <laughs> <laughs> every time I say, I'll do it, I can do it, but then... Then you go, ooh, ha, ah, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're standing on Legos when you do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't worry, don't worry, soon enough. You've got to do exactly the same job. <laughs> okay, so, so to apply the wood event, so you would have exactly the same quality that we do here. I would suggest to have uh, to follow uh, the five easy steps, which are quite simple. You have to warm it up as you saw that I did it. You have to apply the glue on the back of the wood event product or on the project itself and clean the extra glue if uh, needed. Oh no, uh, apply the glue, then apply the uh, wood event products on a project and clean the extra glue if needed. Then warm it up again and press it down once more. We're doing that, the fourth and the fifth step, only to reassure that the molding is properly attached to the surface and there are no air bubbles or there are no parts of the product that are not attached or glued to the surface which might lead to a further lose of this from the project which I don't think anyone of us, from, of us would like it and now I'm going to go with a second yes I know I haven't done the fourth and the fifth step but I'm going to do it as soon as I have the second one so I'm going to press both of them together yeah, I think this trim is going to be absolutely lovely on the, the chair, just with the circle pattern of the, the decoupage itself and then this trip. It's gorgeous. I actually love the new releases. Has anybody watched the new releases party that we did with Jonathan Mark Mendes? And what you hear is everyone going, yeah, I did, I did. <laughs> I'll answer for you, don't worry. <laughs> because uh, Jonathan's got his new range of uh, Would You Bend as well. So we've got new appliques, new trims, and a new House of Mendes uh, collection as well, which is really, really exciting. And there'll be a newsletter coming out tonight to those of you subscribed to our mailing list with details about the release and other exciting things that we've got going on in the studio. So I'm just going to go now over and down the first time, and then I'm going to warm it up again and press it once more. So I reassure that the wood event would stay on a project as long as we want. But if you want to take it off, for example, you don't like it the way it came, it's absolutely okay. You just have to warm it up again and spread it down the project now. But you'll have to warm it up really, really. Laura says that looks really cool. Thank you, Laura. Uh, Salah says, I agree, Leah, and I did for watching the live. I feel like me and Salah are like best friends now. <laughs> every time you join, I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> well, everyone must have someone. Yeah. <laughs> I have Laura. You have Laura. 
I love Laura too. I love everybody watching. <laughs> okay, so now, sad. Come on, you lazy. If you have a big chunky piece or you work on a large project, work in parts. So, for example, you want this part, you blow it down, and you go further. That's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to run off half, press it down, and then go to the second gun. If you're using a heat gun, please be careful that heat gun is a power tool, and you might use to burn or scorch your heat gun powers, which I don't think is exactly what you would prefer. As wood gun contains a high percentage of wood, will act exactly as you would burn. The temperature is high. And obviously, it seems that it has all the properties of wood. You can drill it, sand it, nail it, stain it, wax it, stain it, it. Yeah. anything, anything that you would be able to do, and that's what you would be able to do that would have been followed only would have been given much more opportunities where to apply it. And all of these is a heat and appliance, and you can to wood glue. And now it's really getting hot, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I was just going to say, I'm like, it's all right, let's come to that the temperature just dropped. But look at this heat, and it's getting quite warm. on. It'll be nice in the winter. Well, it is. <laughs> I love to do projects in winter. Because I really never could say and complain about the... Yeah. <laughs> So what's the weather? What's the weather like where everybody is? So where are you watching from? Now I'm going to cut the sides of margin that we don't need, and I'm going to send it down so we're going to have a nice smooth edges. So to make it easier to, for us to cut it, we're going to run it up. Which way are you putting it so on the other side? So I'm going to cut. Right. I'll try to do it slowly for you, but it went. <laughs> I was like, butter. <laughs> okay, and but you have one more chance. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just make sure YouTube can see this. And hi to everybody who's just joined on YouTube. It's lovely to see you all. Um, uh, are you curious about uh, other our project or about the uh, details that Leah is filming here? We love the close-ups. Go and do our TikTok channel as well. Yeah, we do mini series on TikTok. Um, so you can see projects from start to finish, but within like a two-minute video. So they're really fun to watch and also really fun to make as well. So for example, this gloves up will be later on on our TikTok channel. And the great thing about it is that once you send it, you have an actual sawdust, so it gives you the real feel of the wood. Nice. To touch it as well. Guys. What I'm going to do is take uh, Facebook off the camera and just give him a really good close up of how well the trim looks when it's sanded. Well, you have that chance. And the trick is to turn the camera without getting my chins in it. <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. So here we have that edge here, it's one mil over the edge. So I'm taking 240 sanding paper. So it's No, it's because it's still warm. So I'm gonna push it. You see the coming up at that? Oh, 
Well, that's going to mean there's no sharp edges, which is what you want really when you sit on a chair. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to be the only one. Okay, now before that, well, let's now you're try. on a wonk. <laughs> Sorry? I'll put them all on a wonk. Let's right past the surface. There we go. Solange says, Miha, you are in pro mode. <laughs> Thank you. We have time to pause. Oh, so Solly Jo isn't in today for everybody asking. She's not actually not feeling too well. So why don't you send us some love in the comments? Because I'm sure she's here watching. I think that would mean a lot to her. She was really sad that she couldn't come in. Hedy saying maybe you should bevel the edges. That'd be cool. Bevel the edges. Bevel, bevel yeah. That. Like round them. Oh. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Maybe. So don't forget, everybody, the decoupage that you're seeing there on the seat of the chair is what we have given away today. So all you have to do is like, share, and comment. And the winners are announced on a Monday in our Posh Shop Creators and Artisans group. And I think uh, from the last two weeks of giveaways, everybody's received their parcels as well. And uh, we keep getting some lovely pictures. And today we give away intersecting circles in A3. <laughs> That's that what I just said, me. I keep going though. No. Go on. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was concentrating too much on that. And I thought, okay. Yeah, there was. Yeah, thanks for the suggestion. Did anybody see our last chair upcycle? We ended up putting um, a decoupage paper of a spaniel, a king, is it King Charles spaniel on the front of it? No, it's spaniel. It's just a spaniel. Oh, it's so cute. And uh, Solly Jo took that home and she says it looks amazing in her kitchen. So we'll have to try and get a picture of um, what it looks like in her kitchen and put it on the group as well so you guys can all see that. Done. Now, to make sure that all the dust is off, I'm going to all and wipe the part. So we need to start to paint it with our beautiful posture small metallic paste. We've got a hi from Greece. Uh, pop. Yeah, Paula says, if you've never tried Woody Ben, you must try it. It's a life changer. Thank you, Paula. We've got hi from Romania. And Romania. Laura, who was painting the duck, it is not a real duck for everybody wondering. It was a wooden duck. Uh, <laughs> not a real one. You know, you know the, uh, the, what is it called? Hairdresser for dogs or cats or anything. Groomers. Groomers. Maybe. You decide so well, everybody can do it for cats and dogs. Let's do it for dogs. <laughs> okay, so to go over with the paint, with the metallic paste, I'm going to go, I'm going to choose our posh chalk, uh, a wax paintbrush. It's a really good brush to put in this way. Yeah. It's like flat bottom. I'm going to stick all the paste in so it will <laughs> well, that's a bright color. Wow, okay. <laughs> you know, it's quite a long time that I haven't used <laughs> Red Medium Canon in its pure color. Pure you, you, form. Yeah, usually we mix it with some pals. If you are a better, just use the spritzer. Spritz some water. And go over that will help the uh, face to slide better on the surface. 
Oh, good morning, Sam from Canada. She, uh, she's on YouTube. It's nice to see you. And to cover the mornings, you might go for anything. So you may go uh, left, right, up and down, or you may go for stippling, or you may go for rounding circles. That's not good for today. For me, that's the best way to cover it. And make sure that you come into all the nooks and crannies. If you are feel, not feeling comfortable with a uh, posture waxing paintbrush, you may go for posture molding paintbrush, which was created exactly for covering the woodland moldings. And because thanks to its pointed teeth, it goes into all the nooks and crannies of the detailed woodland product. But seeing that, that's the city between 717. It's not that deep and intricate, do not have that many details. So how many people watching have used Would You Bend before? Has anybody like tried it? Anybody want to try it? What's the opinions in the chat? <laughs> well, I haven't it's a life change. It's, it, it is a life change, <laughs> I was just thinking. I wonder how many people have really tried it, because like, you know, it's so... It's such a cool concept. It's really revolutionized like the crafting and upcycling market completely. What well, makes the work much, much easier. And it gives you the same feeling of the wood, for example, yeah? But it makes it much easier because with a natural wood, you wouldn't be able to go on that curve. Well, if it's a soft wood and you go for to steam it, so it would be bendy, but that takes time and you need to know how to do it. It would be much easier. Uh, oh, Laura says, um, you could always dry brush and black over this. I think that's kind of, kind of cool. It's quite mm, scary. Yeah, uh, but I quite like the bright. I, I think it's really like a proper 70s style. But you know, when the uh, soldier will be in the house. <laughs> this might be think, Monday's video. <laughs> Teddy says, I'm crazy about Would You Bend. I've used it lots. Oh, well, that's amazing. Have you posted any of your um, projects in the group, Hedy? Because uh, we've got an artisan's group. I'll put a link to that in the comments. That's where the winners of the giveaways are announced, but it's also like where we make a bit of an upcycling community, talk about projects that we've all been doing and um, gush about everybody's cool work. <laughs> And to be honest, sometimes we get, we get really inspired by Yeah, we do. Well. Sometimes you just come across a couple in that group and you go, wow, look at this. You've got to stop what you're doing. <laughs> Make sure that I've done a drawing the paper. I don't want to apply that masking tape in that. Oh, I'm loving this red colour. It's so stunning and bright. And to think that's just one layer of paint, like the pigments in it are crazy. Yeah, however, uh, for every painting, we recommend to have at least two layers to have a nice and smooth surface. Now I'm going for stippling to as a first layer to give a coverage, but half that I'm going to go for a smooth, nice. So to give it a more shiny look. Because if I go now for that pathway, you see it's not covering properly. So that's why I prefer to stick in. Stipple, stipple, stipple. I love the sound when you do that. <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll shut up and let everyone enjoy. <laughs> So we've got quite a few new people who just joined the live. Uh, oh, welcome nice. everybody. Uh, Mihai, what are you doing today? Talk us through. Having fun. At the end of the week, why not? We go on crazy with you. bright colours. So we chose our interstellar posture, the Lucy Posh intersecting circles in A1, which you see it here. 
we cover it, we took off the extras, and now we're going over the bar stool with Fox chocolate metallic smooth face, red medium cabin, which is a bright color. And whoa. <laughs> uh, whoa, and we're also doing a giveaway at the deck of cards that you see here. So if you're new to Posh Talk and Woodge Bend, what you're looking at, this uh, what almost looks like it's been painted on, is actually rice paper, and you apply it using the Posh Talk uh, pigment infuser, which acts as a glue, and give it one more coat, and it honestly looks like it's authentically painted onto the surface of an item, and you can use it pretty much anywhere. We've done it on fabric seats, we've done it on hard surfaces like this. Um, I think it's one of my favorite products that we do really, the decoupage, because every piece is exclusive. So that when it's sold out, it's sold out completely. Um, and then it means that we get loads of new designs in over and over again as well. And that's what we do. Because <laughs> we're going to lose that half a year or so. Yes. And now we're looking for new designs. Release. That's it. New release is coming soon. So we've just released the new Would You Bend um, products. What do you need? Tip. 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 Yeah. Oh, I had it. I, I knew I saw it somewhere here. He's making me get my steps in today. <laughs> well. You know, well, Gwendolyn says using Would You Bend takes your pieces to a whole new level. It really does. I mean, if anybody saw the live that we did yesterday, um, just a few trims and appliques on a wardrobe and a bit of colour, it honestly looked brand new. Oh yes, the Solange is saying it'll match the lamp that we've done. Uh, the lamp is actually to the right of the camera. I might bring her in. Um, oh, the yeah. mannequin light. So she's got the decoupage on as well. Go on, I'll bring it round. If I can reach it. This it. place is meant for giants. What are you reminding while living away today from the Go on then. Guys, get to see you. I'm <laughs> So this is the decoupage that we're giving away. All you have to do is like, share, and comment. <laughs> She's so shy. She's hiding. Very good. <laughs> so as you can see, you can apply the that's the material. You know, the, the normal ones where uh, they have it on the lamps. And you can apply as well. There you go. So like, share, comment, and the winner will be announced on a Monday in the link that I can put in the comments. I'm going to go back behind the camera now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can stay in front, I don't mind. Go on, and I'll see you go. So, rather than now, I'm going to go over the edges with some tape. Wow, just a couple of minutes. The rest of the product will be finished. Oh. Yeah, well, as I said, we need to apply the second layer as well. So, we the second layer. Wow. Okay, so I'm just waiting for my laptop to reconnect to the internet. Here we go. <laughs> uh, so, says, I love that lamp. Um, and uh, I'm going to absolutely butcher this pronunciation. Debel. Fueli? <laughs> it sounds like um, a page. I think you're a page comment in. Um, it's nice to see you. You say, I have not used it yet. I want to, but there's no stores here in Canada that carry it. Well, if you can think of any stores near you that you'd like to have it, you can always send them on over to us and we can see if um, you know, we can get them to start selling some Witch Bend, which would be very exciting. Or oh, ask them nicely. Yeah, yeah we just ask them nicely. Them. We are trying to keep two millimeters from the edge so we will cover the bit of our paper, but not too much. Okay. Now, 
Yeah. Yeah. Debbie said, um, this is really cool actually. She said, oh, this is cool. It's metro modern. It, it really is. It's cool. It's got like 70s with geometric, got the bright color. It'll be an absolute statement when it's finished. So we'll put the finished picture in the group as well. Are there any sort of woody bend or posh chop products um, that you'd love to see us try in future lives? Because we're always open to new ideas and new projects. So if you guys would like to say you want to learn more about patinas or you want to learn more about posh chop paste or how to do raised stenciling, like, just let us know and we can definitely have that scheduled in for you. See the dog slides are made for you. Yeah, this is an education station, so. And the thing about all the products is that they're so easy to use. Like they're, you know, artist quality, but also made for people who are not really experienced in crafting yet. So the things that you can create with them are absolutely stunning. That would be it. Yeah, go on one more side. Yeah, as I said, we're going to continue as a however I have to apply two layers at least to make it smooth and shine. So I'm going to go, the camera's off, I'm going to continue stippling it and then we'll go with the second layer. And then you're gonna see it in our posh and we're gonna ask Andrew. Yeah. Well, we invite you. <laughs> Welcome into the group. Yeah. Right. -o. Have a lovely Friday, everyone. Thanks for, for joining us. And see you on Monday. Same place, same time. Thank you so much, Bye, everybody. Everyone. See you later.